welcome parents to our reading workshop. It is a different way to teach this year, but I am hoping that it will still be very beneficial. Sometimes as parents, we look at reading as one large overwhelming picture, a difficult task. But when it's done slowly, carefully, and correctly, it just happens. Reading is developmental, so therefore the children will learn and grow in reading at their own pace. It takes time, consistency, and understanding to help your child. And my job is to help you to help your child. So we are going to start at the beginning, what happens at the beginning of the year, and follow through where we are today and where we will be by the end of the year. I sent home the, a packet for you to follow with me during this video. And I will take you from the beginning of the school year and where we are now to where we will be at the end of the year. So I'm going to have you turn the page. This is our alphabet song. It is not the traditional one that we grew up with, that you and I probably grew up with, but the children are going to sing it with me so that you can hear it. This will help them to practice the sounds to each letter. That's why we love using it and teaching it in class because it helps them to identify not only the letter, but its sound. If your child is still struggling with their letter sounds, this is a good way to play in the video again to help them learn it because they can practice singing it with you. They know the song very well. At the same time, I introduced the vowels. Please turn to the next page, A-E-I-O-U. We start out with um, learning in depth the short vowel, but I also at the same time introduce the long vowel because I want the children to be aware that there's two sounds for every vowel, a long sound and a short sound. So when later we get to the long vowel words, they'll know it very, very well. So we are going to sing this song. This is a, a great song to help them practice their vowel sounds. So if your child is having difficulty with their vowel sounds, please play it so that you can sing with your child and um, let's practice this song. Once we learned all of our consonants and our vowels, we began to do two-letter blends, which you are very well aware of. It is a curriculum called Pathways, where you take a consonant and a vowel and make a blend. A blend is a consonant and a vowel put together to make a new sound. This will enable the children to begin, be, a, be able to read the beginning of the word right away without sounding out each sound. As you know, at the end of every pathways, there is a word at the bottom of the sheet. They've been practicing one word every day, and since you practice at home also, they've had lots of practice on reading the word. So we took the, the blends and we added an ending, and therefore, we are going to blend the words. So we are not going to break up each sound and read the word that way. We are first going to read the blend and then the ending sound. Now I know some of the children already know how to read and so this is new to them only for the fact that we are doing phonics. So we need the children to uh, learn our phonics program even though some of them are reading already because it will be very beneficial when they get into more difficult reading and the words, um, because they are sight readers, there are words they will not be able to, unless they memorize it, they aren't gonna know it. This is a tool that will help them to sound out more difficult words. And even in kindergarten, our kindergartners by the end of the year are sounding out first grade words. So, uh, so even though some of the kids are reading, they are going to go through all the phonics steps 
that the other children who are just starting to read, um, they're gonna go through it also. Here is our pathway sheet, which you are all aware of and practice with the children. And then I also put in here what is called what is called the Ferris wheel. We're going to turn the page because I want you to see this next page. These are all the consonants and it's designed for you to cut them out. As you see when we sing the song, how you're going to use these little cards. You're going to take these little cards here and put them uh, on the Ferris wheel and I will be demonstrating how you're going to do that. Now that the children are all blending very well and at, they've been practicing reading words, one word every day at the bottom of their pathways, we are ready for the next step. So your next, the next pathway sheet that's going home and which will go home next week is a whole sheet of blended words. And we will practice with the children and the reason is we are still training their eyes to see the blend first and then read the word. And in a little bit of time, they will not have to depend on breaking it up or reading the blend first. They will just go easily into reading the word. By then, we are already getting ready to read sentences. So now, as you read the directions, uh, it recommends to start reading down and in our reading groups when we introduce this pathways we will be reading down so you're going to read had mad sad bag nag rag sag now I'm reading them they will be reading them a lot slower as they're just learning to read words and then you later as they get a little better you can practice going across First, you will read the two words here that are going to be in the sentence. And then, I usually fill the rest of the sentence with sight words. Hug, pup. I hug a pup. So watch that they uh, slow down enough to make sure that they are tracking always on every single page. Make sure they are tracking. We are getting them ready to go into their readers and it will be very important. Make sure when you track that they're not covering the word as they read, that their finger is under the word. Okay, now you could uh, turn the page and we have the long vowel marching song because now we have finished working on short vowel and now we're going to introduce the long vowel. Now we already know our long vowels so what we're introducing is the long vowel blends and then um, blending the words. So we have to um, make sure that before we can do any of that, that we know our long vowels. So I, the class will help me sing this song so that you will, you can practice it if your child needs to. So now I would like you to turn to the next page because we have already been practicing our long vowel blends. Now it's time to read words. We have a two vowel song that we sing that actually teaches the children to uh, read long vowel words. So we first have two vowels that walk together and you will find them in the center of the word. And we also teach the silent E as in bake, Take, um, sake, with 
So next, let's turn to the page, next page, and this is the long vowel pathways. This is very important. We will do this in reading groups because through this, they will learn to mark vowels, so which helps them read. So they will learn, especially in kindergarten, because they are going to do this in first grade. Everything we do here is to help them along in first grade. So not only will they know how to blend before they go to first grade, they will be reading already and reading long vowel and short vowel words and be able to mark the vowels also. And as you can see in this sheet, there is short vowel and long vowel words. So not only will they learn to mark vowels short vowel, they will learn to mark the vowels for long vowel words also. So here we are going from short vowel to long vowel, which for some children is no easy task, but with practice and patience, they are able to practice and go from one vowel to the next vowel. This is the beauty of learning to blend because reading a blend, going back, back and forth with a different blend such as be and bi, and ta, it's just like reading, going, doing that with words. So they go from um, different blends, one blend to another, just like they are going to do, read different words, going from one word to another. It is a great skill that they learn and um, very beneficial. Now I'll go ahead and turn the page because I want to introduce something very new. These are two consonants blended together to make a special sound. Other curriculums call them blends. Uh, we do not call them blends, we call them special sounds. And they make a new sound. So here we have the first one is CK. So C and K say the same sound, so they only say K. And so the name of this sound is what is printed here in duck. So when I say what the special sound the kids will answer in duck because duck is their clue word and they will learn each clue word for each sound to help them to remember it. Now we will see the CK at the end of the word. And then, for instance, right here, st in stop, we'll see it at the beginning of the word. And so, you add a vowel. Let's add the vowel a. Ah. We have staff. So, if they're trying to read the word stamp, they read the blend staff. So, they are not sounding out each sound. So they already know that ST says st. in stop, out of vowel, you have a special sound blend. Sta, st, 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 st. And long vowel, stay, st, 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 and stu. So they will learn, once we introduce this chart and they learn these sounds, then we will start learning the short vowel and the long vowel um, special sound blends, which will enable them to read a lot more difficult words because they're uh, learning some new um, special sound beginnings. Okay. So chart seven is made up of some more special sounds little more difficult special sounds and we will learn these first uh, and then we will add a vowel to make the special sound blend. So for instance, breath in bride, we add a vowel, let's say I. So the blend says bride, as in bride. So not only will we learn these special sounds, we will learn it with a short vowel and long vowel words. 
blends. And so then, right here, we will um, introduce this towards the end of the year. Chart six, we will spend more time with, and we are aiming for mastery on the chart six. Now turn to the next page, and we have sent you the list of all the sight words. So we probably, at this uh, point, it's maybe just a third way done, and then you will uh, have a head start on the rest if you want, if your child's doing very well. But if you lose any of the list, this is the Dolch list, and it is uh, the common sight word list for public school. And as you see, some of these words are phonetic words, and the kids already can read them. Um, there are a lot of words that are not phonetical, and so we call them sight words so the children will learn them. I cannot tell you how important it is that the children practice and learn these sight words because it will cripple them in their reading. Now, I know that some kids will take longer to pick up the words, but I want you to be consistent and continue to practice. Don't overwhelm, with, overwhelm them with too many words at one time, especially new ones. Just be consistent and your child will pick them up. We practice the sight words every day. And as I add more each week, we'll add them to our list here and the children will learn them. So when they go to first grade, they will have learned all of these sight words plus more. I wanted to show you an example of the reading folder that will go home with your child. I will put your child's name and then the instructions right here. And inside, there will be an assignment sheet. All the children will get a new clip like this to for their folder. And this is just an, an example of what might come home. If your child is not reading, then I might have some blends or sight words for you to work on. Here, this child is reading. She is in the A book. We're doing short vowel A. And so here's the assignment sheet. And I fill it out, and then there's a place for you to initial. And you do the assignment. And if there's a worksheet, then you have your child do the worksheet. Here they have to circle the right word that goes with the picture, and then write the word in the lines. Have them put their name. And then the assignment comes back in the folder with the assignment sheet initial and the book. And it will have pages for your to read that your child needs to read. If if it's a pathways, we usually will have you keep it and we'll write on there please keep. And then you put the clip back on it and send it back in your child's binder. Reading homework will go home on Tuesday and Thursday. So let's say you have church on Tuesday night, keep it an extra day. Just make sure I have it by Thursday morning. On Thursday's homework, if you have plans or you have church, then keep it and send it in on Monday. I need to have it for Tuesday. So just write a note, say I had to keep it. Uh, we did not get the homework done and please get it done and then send it in. I, I typed up some very good information in the end of your packet. It's called Reading is Fun. It'll go over all of the things that I just talked to you about with the reading homework and gives you some helpful hints on reading time with your child. And then the very last page is a note to you stating that you will take responsibility for the, the readers that we send home. And so you will need to cut the bottom part off here, sign it and return it uh, in your child's binder. And now 
we are going to hear from Ms. Grisafi. She is our first grade teacher. She is going to share uh, some of the things that she will be teaching in first grade. She's going to share curriculum, uh, manipulatives, more charts, uh, besides the six and seven that we, I shared with you uh, on this video. And then um, if you have any questions for Ms. Kosapi, please let me know. And I will make sure that she um, is able to um, reply to any of your concerns. Hi, my name is Ms. Grizafi and I'm the first grade teacher here at Trinity Christian School and I just wanted to give you a sneak peek about the next step for your child. I know you just got done listening to the kindergarten class and everything that they get to do in there and I just wanted to encourage you to take to heart everything that Mrs. Horan suggested. Kindergarten is really that foundation year for reading and so it is super important that you are doing the reading homework with them, working with your child so they know their letter sounds, their vowels, and their special sounds. And so I'm going to give you some examples of what we do in first grade so you know what to expect. Um, English is a very difficult language and so in kindergarten they are learning all of those basic rules and sounds. Then as they advance in their reading, those rules um, aren't always followed. And so one of the things that we use is what's called special sounds. And so I'll just give you a quick example. So here we have the Y saying E in rainy, even though it usually says yeah. And so what I have my kids do is we circle our special sounds, we practice our special sounds, we write them. So that way they are able to transition in their brain to decode these words. And so this truly helps the kids with their reading fluency and being able to read those difficult and hard words. And so I also just wanted to show you one of the readers that we use. This is called Secrets and Surprises. And so as you can see, we're in full story mode um, and they are going back and forth from short and long vowels. They're putting into use their special sounds. Um, and all of those difficult things that they're having to use. And one of the amazing things about first grade is by the end of the year, they're reading fluently. And with that fluent reading, they are also able to comprehend what they're actually reading. Um, and then that also transitions into them writing stories and sentences. And so the reading truly just comes to life and it is amazing to be a part of and see and so I just want to encourage you to keep working with your child and it is an honor to be able to come alongside you in this journey of reading. And so please let me know if you have any questions. You can always email me or call me. I would love to answer anything you have. And so have a blessed day and thank you so much.